If you're a dropshipper looking to increase your sales and profit, then you've come to the right place. Hey everyone, this is your girl Chloe over here and in today's video, we're going to talk about SMS marketing, a subject that is often overlooked by dropshippers, but that is crucial to the success of your store. So make sure to utilize that so you can have a competitive edge. Before we hop onto it, you guys know we give out a free consultation call every single week if you follow these three things. Number one, go ahead and like this video, show us some love because we make sure to give out as much value as we can every single week. Number two, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of these videos. And number three, comment the word SMS down below with your biggest takeaway. I'll be announcing the last winner of the consultation call somewhere along this video, so make sure you stay tuned to find out if it was you. So as you guys know, in one of my last videos, I discussed email marketing, which is super important for our stores, and you guys loved it. So I'm here to give you another amazing tool to retarget our users and get them back to our website, and it's called SMS marketing. SMS marketing is known to have an amazing return on investment. Did you know that SMS has a 98% open rate compared to only 20% with emails? Now that's not to say that email marketing isn't great, but if we use both of these the right way, then we're gonna make sure that we're making the best out of our traffic. All right, so let's hop onto it. So I'm gonna go ahead and download SMS Bump on the Shopify store. It's gonna be that first one up in here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and add the app. Alrighty, so I'm in the SMS Bump, and what I want you guys to do is go to Flows and Automations, hit on Flows, and then just like email, you know, we're gonna have some different triggers that we can set it up with, but one of the most important ones that I want you guys to set up today is gonna be the abandoned checkout. What does the abandoned checkout trigger mean? That means if someone added to you know, their cart, like they added the product to the cart, and they went, they put their information in, they put their number in, but then they left for some reason or another, either they got distracted or they thought the price was too high or they changed their minds or they felt like they didn't trust the website enough to put their payments in. All of these are very valid reasons for people to leave the card. One way of getting them back to the store is hitting them with an SMS. And as I said, SMS has an amazing open rate. So, you know, people are not going to miss that uh, message out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on abandoned checkout. So as you can see with the flow of the abandoned checkout, it's already well set up for me. Uh, I can obviously configure it the way I want, but what I want you guys to do now, before that, just pay attention to this message right here. So US guidelines allow one message per abandoned checkout. It must be sent within 48 hours of the checkout and must include opt out text. So obviously let's make sure we follow these guidelines. SMS marketing is a bit more tricky than email marketing in that sense. Uh, we gotta make sure we put an opt out text which kind of translates to the unsubscribe in email marketing. So we gotta make sure that the user, if they are annoyed with their SMS, they can actually say, I don't wanna get these anymore. So we have to give them that option. And uh, the second uh, rule, which is we need to send it before 48 hours, which obviously, as you guys know, we're gonna do that because if we send it after 48 hours, I'm sure they're gonna forget who we are. If I forget what I ate yesterday, I'm sure they're gonna forget what they added to their cart 48 hours ago. And yeah, so over here, we when it says choose next, we can add condition, add action, add delay. I would put, uh, we're gonna add delay for sure because I want it to be after a 10 minute you know, interval. So I don't want it straight away, I want it after 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 10 minutes and then we're gonna add a step. And this time we're gonna add an action and that's gonna be the SMS. So we're gonna be sending them an SMS. Now over here, they, they give us, you know, site name. That's very important. Always make sure you put your site name because we wanna make sure they know, you know, who who's messaging them. If you don't put the site name, they have no idea who's the message coming from because it's just gonna appear as a number. 
So make sure we have the site name up in here. Hello, first name. So obviously the first name is going to be replaced by the actual data collected from Shopify. We noticed there were some items left in your shopping cart. If you're ready to complete your order, your cart is waiting for your turn at abandoned checkout URL, stop to opt out. Obviously, as we talked about, the stop to opt out is super important. So we give them a real chance, you know, to say they want to unsubscribe, they get to do it. To be honest, the message is a bit, you know, can be worked on. Same with email marketing. We want to create some kind of scarcity. So over here, what we're trying to do is just nudge them back into to our website without any discount, without any of that. So we can say something like, hello, first name. We noticed there were some items left in your shopping cart. I'm going to remove all of that. And then I would put the abandoned checkout URL. So obviously that is the URL configured from Shopify. So we don't have to worry about it. Um, but as you guys see, same concept with, you know, any marketing strategy, we need to induce some kind of scarcity because otherwise, why would they press on that button if there's no reason to do it right now? So right here, I'm telling them like, if you don't act right now, then you're going to miss out because it might like our stock is limited. It's going to end up. So, you know, things are going crazy. So go, go ahead and, you know, press on that button. Then what we can do, obviously for, for today's video, I'm not going to do it, but I want you guys to see this feature and I would do it if I were you, we can add an image so we can add a gift. We can add something nice. I wouldn't add these like super colorful gifts unless it resonates with your brand, but I would add something that, that looks good with your brand and your message, but I would make sure we have it also visual. So obviously you can uh, hire a designer to do that, or you can go on Canva and draw up some images or some gifts yourself. Um, so that's looking good for us. So opt out instructions are required. Obviously we have that in here. Um, right now we're not going to go for, uh, a discount so i'm gonna press preview and as you can see you can preview it over here hello stephanie we noticed there were some items left in your shopping cart we wanted to let you know that these items are very high on demand as we talked about before and then you get the link so looking good looking good um after that i'm gonna add another step and i'm gonna add delay and this time you know with sms marketing we don't want to be too crazy as well we want to take a bit of our time because people actually read those so I'm going to go with 10 hours and then I'm going to add a step and add action. So like we did that before. All right. And over here, we're going to obviously uh, change up the text. So I have some text over here that I already uh, worked on. I'm just going to copy and paste it and tell you why we are doing what we're doing. So again, we're starting with the site name. Hello, first name. Um, we are sorry to see you go. Time is running out for a 50% off and free shipping sale on, you know, site name again. So over here, obviously you can put in your own promotion. If you have a 30% off, uh, if you don't have free shipping, don't say that. So make sure it resonates, you know, it makes sense with your own promotion. And then this is where it gets interesting. So over here, we're trying to nudge them again, but instead of just like a small nudge, we're giving them like a reason why, you know, a, a bigger reason why to click on our store because we're giving them like an additional, I would say 15, five is a bit too low. So 15, 10, 15, 20 around there. Uh, or you can start with 15, I would say, and then go up. So don't miss out, save 50% here with an additional 15% off. Use discount 50FF at checkout today. And I would add only. So over here, again, we're giving them, you know, like this nudge to get back on our store with a discount. And also we're telling them that this discount is going to end today only. So scarcity, you know, uh, a nice discount over here for the discounts. It's not like Flavio. So you're going to have to manually do these on Shopify. I'll show you guys how to do that at the end of the video. Um, but just like any normal uh, Shopify coupon, you would have to do that as well. Call it 50FF or I would call it, let's say 15FF. And always make sure you have the stop to opt out. So that's looking good. I'm going to add another step. So add delay. And this time I'm going to do 24 hours. And then I'm going to add a step, add action and SMS, uh, another SMS. 
So over here, I also have uh, something already uh, well written. So we can go by uh, site name and start the message by saying something like last chance. We're really, you know, screaming at them. This is the last chance they get. So hello, first name. Um, then we can say something. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna remove this, all right? And same concept, so right here, giving them the last chance, hurry up, stock is limited, you know, discount, a higher discount, because if they didn't purchase the first time, maybe with a 20 off, they will. So you can start, if maybe 20 off is too high for your product, you can start with like a 10 and then a 15 off, which is also great. So a checkout here with, you know, abandoned checkout URL and then a stop to opt out. But yeah, this is definitely looking good. All of this, you know, I named the, the flow abandoned cart flow and it's looking decent. We are ready to set it to active. So right here it was from draft. I put it to active and now it's gonna, it's gonna work. Obviously I would put it some balance in so you can add, um, I would put like, we can start off with $20 and see how that's working for us. $20, $10 around there. And then, you know, as you know, the profit goes up, you can invest more and more into this type of marketing. But as I told you guys, like this is not like Facebook. It's a really high return on investment if you do it right. And if you get people to actually sign up with the SMS, then people actually, you know, convert very easily from there. So I would make sure, you know, don't be scared to put in even 50. Uh, if it doesn't work out, you can always ask them for a refund. Um, not sure about their, actually I would discuss that with them. I, I do remember they did that before with a student, but I would just double check with them. You have a live chat over here to do that. And yeah, there we go. Now we can set up the discount codes on Shopify, which is super easy as well. So we're gonna go to um, discounts. All right, I'm gonna create a discount and then I'm gonna put, so we can give free shipping, but that's not what we want. We want a product, we want an order discount and then the discount code, the first one is 15 FF, percentage is 15, um, no minimum requirements, all customers, limit number of times this discount can be used in total, not really, limit to one use per customer, yeah, I like to put that on uh can be combined with shipping discounts yeah it's fine and then you can just set it to active so i would do that for the 15 ff and the 20 ff obviously just to make sure we have that all well set up and that's pretty much it so yeah now all you have to do is sit back and relax and analyze your data and see if people are clicking on it converting what's going on and optimize as we go but this structure is very solid and I guarantee you guys, you will get hella ton of sales if you do this properly. Before we wrap this up, as you guys know, we give out a free consultation call every single week and the last week's winner is Bell on Wheels. Congratulations, Bell on Wheels. Please contact us at Supreme Ecom so we can get you started. And if you want the opportunity to win a free consultation call with us at Supreme Ecom to help you on anything uh, with your dropshipping store, then make sure to do the three things I mentioned earlier. And with that being said, this is Chloe and I'll catch you all next time.